concrete that I will soon be there. Carol Burnett had started out on Broadway too, and always had stage people on her TV show, like Robert Goulet, Lainey Kazan, or Kay Ballard. The first time I saw Times Square was in 1947, when I appeared at the Strand Theater doing six shows a day with Spike Jones and his orchestra. And the Strand was in Times Square. And I'll never forget, as long as I live, seeing my first Times Square. It was just astounding. The streets coming from all over every place and the lights. I knew that I wanted to do Broadway. I left Spike Jones in uh, New York City. I quit the band in New York City because I said, I've got to do Broadway. Within a few short years, Hair, O Calcutta, and Jesus Christ Superstar had opened. The world was changing, and so was the theater. But this Broadway that had created Rodgers and Hammerstein, Irving Berlin, Ethel Merman, Brando, Sondheim, Lorette Taylor, Mame, and Tennessee Williams, what happened to it? When I did Pirates of Penzance in 1982, it was a joke. Every night it sounded like Nurse Ratched. This one will be out, that one will be out, this one will be out. Someone's breaking in a new pair of shoes. They're not coming in tonight. I mean, I never saw anything like that. Before I was a singing teacher, I was on Broadway, and I was in Carnival, and I happened to be Kay Ballard's understudy, and she never was out, never. Those were the troopers in those days. It's a whole other kind of show business I don't understand. 